Let's go to John 15, 18 through 20. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. If the world hates you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. So if the world hated Jesus Christ, then the world is going to hate you if you are following by his rules and regulations. The Bible. Why is that? Because you are standing for the same principles as Jesus Christ. That really should make sense. 19. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. So what does that mean? What does it mean by being of the world? You may ask, hey, since we are all human, aren't we all of the world? No. When the Bible says that you are of the world, that means that you are sinful. When you start to follow the rules and regulations of the Bible, you are no longer of the world you are considered, you are, you are of the kingdom of heaven. So sinners are of the world. But as a person who serves God, you are not considered of this world. Because your kingdom is in heaven. Or you are in the kingdom of heaven or considered a citizen of kingdom of the kingdom of heaven I really hope that makes sense so you are no longer of the world you are considered a citizen in the kingdom of heaven even when you are still living on this earth okay where was I okay but because ye are not of the world, as I stated to you, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. So why does the world, sinners, hate you? Because you are standing for the same principles as Jesus Christ. So don't be surprised that you are not popular or have a lot of friends. Don't be surprised if your sinful friends stop being your friend. Why? Because you are no longer of the world. You are no longer sinful. So when sinful people don't want to be around you, <laughs> great! <laughs> awesome! Because when you stand for certain things that people like, no. When you stand against certain things that people like, there is going to be friction. Okay. As you can see. Verse 20. 20. Remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. Okay. <laughs> if you are teaching the word of God, if you are always reading your Bible, praying, doing things of God, helping people to get out of sin, why are you surprised that bad things are happening to you? I know for myself, I don't want bad things to happen to me, but... You are fighting against the kingdom of heaven. So when you do that, ding, 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 of course, demons are going to fight back. And you may say, well, I don't see any demons and only humans are really hurting me. Well, why do you think humans are bad? Or some humans are really, really bad. It is because of demons. 
So if you take out the demons, can the human be still bad? I don't think so. Because it is the demons within people that make them bad. Why? Because that human consistently disobey the word of God. When you do that, demons. When you choose to do whatever you like and not follow the word of God, the Bible, demons are coming at you. They are going to influence you, manipulate you. Okay. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. So when you follow Jesus Christ, his word, and you are teaching based upon the Bible, people are going to hate you, which is a normal thing. So when you get demonic dreams and all of this crazy stuff, it really shouldn't be a surprise. I am not saying accept the bad things. No, don't accept anything bad. You can pray about it. You can war against it by prayer, so on and so on. Okay, let's go to John 16 and 33. See, let me say this too. When I was in sin, or lukewarm, lukewarm meaning trying to serve God, but enjoying my sins as well. So I wanted to do things that is evil. And at the same time, I was trying to serve God, which is impossible. You can't serve God and do things that is evil at the same time. You can only serve one master. When you sin, and many people don't understand this, when you are enjoying your sin, who are you serving? You are serving Satan. Well, I don't pray to Satan. Well, if you are doing something that he wants all humans to do, When you repent of your sins, or when you do what the Bible tells you to do, you can't say that you are serving yourself because you can't serve yourself. You can either serve God or Satan. There is no in between. You have to serve somebody. So if you are not serving God, by default, you are serving Satan. Many people don't understand this. And some people may say, hey, you can say whatever you want to say, Kevin. I am not serving Satan. Yes, you are. Okay, let's go here. John 16 and 33. You are serving Satan. You really are. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. So you can only have peace in Jesus Christ. That is the only way. In the world, ye shall have tribulation. So what does that mean? In this world, you are going to have problems. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Give me a second, please. Okay. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So, Jesus is telling you, you are going to have problems. Now, if you are disobeying the word of God, of course, <laughs> you are going to have larger problems because you are reaping what you have sowed. I really hope that makes sense. Whatever you do, it is going to come back to you. When you do evil, when you disobey God, 
curses are coming back to you. This is this is one of many reasons why I continue to do good things for people. Because I know that I am going to reap what I have sowed. Yes, I may be going through a tough time now. But I know that the word of God is true. You are going to reap what you have sown. And one of the many reasons why I am going through a tough time because of what? Of my past. I did many bad things back in my past. So I am paying for some of my mistakes. By the grace of God, I am not going through as much as I should be going through. So I thank God for that. But if you continue to do good things for people, even if you don't really see the results of your labor, it is going to happen. Actually, it is happening, but you are not taking notice of it. Really think about that. Take notice of the good things in your life because you can see that God is blessing you through your tough time. I really hope that makes sense. Truly. God bless.